Heart's verse 10. Each heart knows its own bitterness, and no one else can share in its joy. Okay, so, hi everybody, this is Christian RPG Gamers. A, uh, becoming more of a community and like a ministry, you know, to glorify God. And also just about some entertainment, you know, having some fun, right? Okay, so, here is another one of these little, uh, like, you know, some, some kind of like an opinion video or like a commentary video. Okay, so the background is when I was playing as a, I guess you could say like like a monk, like a like a monk, uh, like a holy person, a monk, and a some kind of like you know intellect. It's like the intellectual class from Doncaster. Okay, so I'm not sure how the volume's gonna sound. I've been, I've been kind of adjusting the volume knobs a little bit here and there, so I'm not sure just how loud or how quiet it's gonna be. Well, especially the in the in the in game or the in app stuff. So. So I think for today's video, so yesterday I was watching a live stream from a, but I'd say like quite busy like my friend. His name's called uh, it's called B Explanations, and there's a person in the live stream, and they they were asking about the game Doom. So let's just talk about that for a little, little while, right? And I think that the person asked the question, you know, something along something along the lines of. You know, is, is it okay for me to play Doom, or can a Christian play Doom? And that's basically the question. So let's... Uh, let's just talk about the game Doom, and put a little bit of a Christian perspective on it. I don't know how long I'm going to make this video for, but... Let's get some thoughts on it, right? Okay, so... The game Doom. So, so what is the premise of what Doom is supposed to be? So basically... He plays a uh, he plays a man. His name I think is called called the Slayer. It, it's kind of a little bit like Halo, where you have like a, a guy in a power armor suit, and he basically a bunch of demons are either are or have invading the planet, and basically you have like you have, you have this. And I'm, I'm not gonna say it's directly like one for one biblical. It, it is a little bit fan. It's, it's a, like fantasticalized, right? But Basically, there's Earth, and there's some kind of a domain or a place basically references Hell, and a bunch of demons exist from Hell, or, or their version of a Hell, and they're coming out of this Hell into Earth, and you're the Slayer, and you gotta shut down and stop these demons. So, you use a... Uh, you can use, like, I think of, like, a chainsaw, you have some kind of grenades, you have, like, a shotgun, a machine gun... And you got a handful of some other heavy, heavy, heavy artillery style weapons, and you got some uh, like science fiction style stuff. It's uh... so yeah. You're you're basically like you you as the play you as the main character. You're playing as the Slayer, and the Slayer is supposed to be like you no. Know, he's basically the like the hero of humanity. His job is to stop these demons, and he's got to stop the. Uh, the ones that came through this little gate or this like wormhole or whatever it's called, uh, the the Slayer is gonna have to. He has, he has basically he has to he has to kill the demons, usually by extremely brutal means. But it, it's just it's just the way the world. That's just the way the game was made, right? And he brutally brutally kills demons and then sends them back to hell, and he tries to shut down. He tries to shut this gate, and. You know, stop, stop, you know, again, like, you know, he seals them back into hell so that, you know, humanity can be saved. And that's kind of the basic premise of what uh, Doom is. Now, there's maybe a little bit of a story here and there, but it's basically you're, you're, you're a demon slayer. Which, I mean, it, it is very cool in its own right. And it's also, again, there's lots of heavy rock level music. So there's lots of, like, like metal or heavy rock or usually very strong, upbeat music. And maybe sometimes, like, a little bit of some techno or some, like, little science fiction kind of music, but it's usually pretty strong. And when you're fighting against, like, the big bad enemies, it's usually pretty intense. Me it's some kind of pretty heavy, intense, uh, you know, some kind of, he yeah, heavy, intense music of some sorts. So, again, those are pro perhaps some of the, so I guess some of the things that people would be concerned about. I mean, that's basically the whole premise of the game. Now, you have to go through the maps... And basically, you have to defeat every 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 zone has its own like 
big, big bad enemy you gotta beat. And you, 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 you kind of just move on from zone to zone. So again, that's some of the things I think people, like, that, that's basically the whole game of Doom. There's like 10, there's like 10 Doom games. That's basically the whole premise right there. I mean, not <laughs> not to be like a spoiler alert, right? But that, that's, that's basically all, that's all the Doom, right? And they also tend to be very hard. I mean, it's, depending on your point of view, the Doom, Doom games can be very difficult. So, get rid of volume. I got this little. I don't. Yeah, I have no idea how loud this ability is gonna sound. So, you know, I apologize if this comes off as extremely loud or it comes off as extremely quiet. Um. Oh yeah. Uh. So again, so like, I guess like the Christian point of view, right? So some people might be concerned that there's demons in it. Some people might be concerned that there is excessive levels of violence and there's also like gore and blood. And some people, some people might be concerned about the, you know, very heavy metal music cont continuously being played for long periods of time. And honestly speaking, that that's a, those are all valid concerns. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm going to be real with you, right? You know, like heavy metal music, you know, intense violence. And stuff like demons. Those are all three are very, um, you know, I think, I think you have every right to be concerned about it, right? But if you're just being real with yourself, none of those things are inherently, obviously demons are a bad thing, right? But like none of those, none of those three things individually on their own used in a small like proportion are really a bad thing. Like demons, like in a fantasy sense, and obviously I believe demons also literally do exist too. But in demons, if you kind of just, again, if you separate yourself from the scenario, Demons, you know, like, you're not, and you, you also, you're not working with the demons. You're fighting the demons, right? The demons existing, they're like, they're like a prop. They're like a prop in the game, right? So, again, you, you're fighting against them. So you you are the, the main character fighting the demons. So it's like, you're not working with them. You're opposing them, right? Which is, in, which in itself is a good thing, right? And then also, again, like violence. Again, some of this stuff, it comes down to sensitivity, right? Ugh. So you see this little orange dot? I guess, I, I don't, again, I try not to talk... Uh, one thing is, I try not to talk too much about myself in real life, but... Sometimes, I feel like I probably got some kind of allergies. And it's like, I, I, sometimes I press the little dot, because like, I cough or whatever. I don't know, I just... You know, it is what it is. Hopefully, hopefully most of the time... It's, it's paused, and sometimes, occasionally, it might not be, but... I don't, want, I don't want too much coughing, right, in the video. Just sometimes my throat gets a little bit, like, congested. But it is what it is, right? It's not that big of a deal. To anybody who really cares or doesn't care. <laughs> but, okay. But as I was saying, um... Yeah, so some of this stuff I feel like has to do with sensitivity. Now, I personally, as an individual, I don't really care, to be honest. Like, it, it's not that big of a deal to me. But I know there's a lot of people out there who do care and who are concerned. And it's important, you know, to be considered. There's people who are strong in their faith and there's people who are weak in their faith, right? Some people struggle with some of these things and it's important to be considered about them. And some people are strong in their faith in certain areas and some people are, are, are weak in their faith in that area. And then some other people are strong in different areas. Now, and those same people who are strong in one area can be weak in another. So you might be strong in your faith in one area, but you might be weaker in another. And, it, and vice versa, right? Different people have di and different people have different levels of, you know, how strong or how weak are their faith. And there is sensitivity too. So I think this is up I think this stuff to be honest is important to you know understand, right? Um but yeah, there's a. Uh... Yeah, again, there, there is sensitivity, right? So, so for Doom, again, like so, like a good Bible verse. I I, I could pull it up here too, but I I, I kind of have to memorize almost a little bit. Uh, but it talks about well, the, the main the main premise, right? It says, uh, you know, everything is lawful for me, but not everything is beneficial. And I feel like that's true when it comes to things like, uh, 
I feel like that's true when it comes to things like you know, like like Doom or video games or or whatever it might be, right? Or even this game here, what's it called? Uh, Dawncaster, right? Again, you know, it's like like everything is legal, right? Like I can do whatever I want on this on, on Earth within some limitations, but not everything I do is good for me or is beneficial. So there is truth to some of these things, right? But just because I can play Doom doesn't necessarily mean that I should. It doesn't mean it's beneficial for me. And just because, um, and just because, I think just because I can watch and play any game, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean that I should, right? And not everything inside of all the content is necessarily good for me either. And there is layers of truth to this. But again, like again, as I've stated, you know, I, I, I consider myself to not be the moral authority on the vast majority of stuff in the world. It's not my place, it's not my job to tell other people what they can or can't do. But every single little issue, you know, all day, every day. Now, I mean I understand that sometimes I feel like no, there there can be times where it is my place, but like I, I try to be the moral authority, right? So But I'll I'll give some tips, right? So but just objectively, right? Not necessarily based off of, you know, again, what I personally like to do or don't do. Just objectively, heavy rock style music, constantly listened to, it's just bad for you. I just, it's just the truth. I'm just being real with you, right? Like, metal, heavy rock, you know, all that kind of stuff, to be honest. You listen to this and you watch this all day, for like hours on end. It's just not good for you, just objectively. And the same thing with violence, right? You know, playing a video game or watching or thinking about, you know, heavy bouts of intense levels of violence constantly for like large bursts over a course of hours every day, it's just not good for you. It's just truth be told. It's not good for you to, uh, you know, to be watching and thinking about and talking about violence. Especially on those levels. Again, especially on those kind of levels, because... Because it screws your brain up, right? Because, like, thinking about bad crap all the time like that, it's just not healthy. Now, again, the same argument, again, like, I feel like, you know, it comes down to, like, the biblical virtue of temperance, right? It's like... I feel like if you if you... Don't play, like, Call of Duty for four literal straight hours in a row. You'll probably be okay, right? You don't, again, so much intense violence. A constant, like, heavy burst. It's just not good for you. Same thing with, like, heavy, like, upbeat, super strong rock music. It's just not really good for you. Now, I'll make the argument, right? I mean, I think that watching, like, you know, playing Call of Duty for a small period of time could be good for you at the same time. It gets, again, like, same thing with, like, rock music, right? Or even showing, like, you know, very heavy, dark fantasy. Like, a bunch of demons and, you know, a bunch of, like, in, the, in like, some a fantasized version of hell. Because I don't even know what hell really entirely looks like. To be, tell you the truth, it's probably not a pretty place. It's not a place where you want to go and you want to explore. Hell, you know, in holy God is going to send souls of human beings and demons and the devil. Or maybe they have some kind of physical bodies. It's a place of torture and torment. It's not fun, right? It's a very bad place. Now, we have our own fantasy versions of what we want these things to look like. It's a very bad place. Described as like burning... It's, you know, it's why it says, um... You, know, you are being damned and forsaken into hell. You are going to be burned with fire. It's a very bad place. You're, you're basically, I think, you're like chained up in darkness. Uh, humiliated and burned with fire for eternity. It's a place of excru excruciating nightmare. And no escape. You are damned. Like it's, it's, you literally are damned to hell. That's why it's, that's why it's a swear word, right? It's a place where you have, you, know, it, you have nothing and you have no hope. And there's never any way you're going to get out. It's why you're, why you're known as like, you know, you're being forsaken, right? It's a very, very bad place. Now, yeah, I don't think thinking about hell all the time and thinking about demons and what they can or cannot do and all this stuff. Um, again, unless 
can't, I can't look so all okay. So yeah, this, thinking about hell and darkness and demons and how how these how the souls are gonna be punished and all these things, thinking about that like for hours on end without again like without ever taking like a break, right? That's not good for you. That's not healthy, right? It's really bad for you. Just objective. Again, now I'll make the argument that again, like a video game like you know Fallout Four, right? It's kind of like a military simulator. It's a simulation of like a military conflict. And the same thing with like you know Call of Duty and a bunch of these other stuff. Yeah, I don't necessarily, I don't necessarily think those things are bad to do either, right? Again, you just got, you gotta have a little bit of some self control. Again, like so, make, make my argument I would make is, especially with really dark or brutal or incredibly insensitive, very harsh, like you know whatever you want to call it, right? Every once in a while, maybe just take a break. Just take a break. You know, get up. You know, power the system down. Get something to drink, you know, use the restroom, you know, calm your mind down a little bit. Just take a break. Or again, if you're playing Call of Duty or, you know, playing Doom, right? Or whatever it might be, just take a break. And then, you know, take, cool off, calm down, and get your crap together. And, and remember, remember, remember and recognize, the, you know, reality and truth. Also, you know, as a Christian, you know, you know, put your faith in the Lord. And, you know, have a little bit of purity and a little bit of holiness. Take a breather for a while, and then maybe you can go back. That's a great way, you know, you, you don't have to be addicted and assumed, consumed with it either, right? So, and, and like the same thing with like, you know, like rock style music, right? Again, just maybe take a break every once in a while. You don't have to listen to it for hours and hours without, maybe just take a break periodically, right? And just, you know, just calm down a little bit. But yeah, I mean, again, I do think there, there can be a lot of advantages to this stuff too, but you, you just, you just gotta... You just, just got to get a little, bit of, a, a, a little bit of a grip and grasp on yourself. Um, so yeah, like again, like it, it can be good for you. I mean, because I think like, you no, know, listening to rock music or like, you know, very heavy, upbeat music, it can, it, it can help you, it can help you to release a level of some anger and some, you know, built up stress and some pension, they call it, like, you know, pent up. Uh, you know, pent up tension within you, and it can it can do you a lot of good, right? And you know, same thing with like you know, like playing Call of Duty or playing Doom. I guess in this kind of area, it's a Doom, right? Um, I, I think I think it'd be good for you in a lot of ways because it, it can, you know, like you no know, you know, a little bit of some uh, fantasy based violence. It gets some of the negativity and the ang you know, you get like you know, like rock music and like you know, heavy combat or something. It gets a lot of the like you know the, you know, like a person who's very angry all the time, right? It helps. It, it's like a very healthy way to release a level of pent up stress and your anger and your violence and just you know just like the rage and this hatred, and you can just kind of pour it out into like a video game. And every once in a while, I personally would argue that that's probably a pretty healthy thing to do, right? Again, but again. It's healthy to do it every once in a while, but you got to be careful how much you do this. Yeah, I mean, again, so again, and you got to learn. You got to learn to have a little bit of some self control. So yeah, I guess those are some of my arguments. Again, and then, and then like the another argument I would make is like, again, some of the stuff is very subjective. Like you know, it comes to like you know a military based simulator. Again, if you're somebody who you specialize in your life, is being somebody who is like. You know, like a, I don't know, like someone, who, someone, someone who's involved with like the military, or you, you, that, that's like, you know, maybe that's like your hobby or your thing, or you, you do a little war, war stuff or whatever. I mean, not nothing like, you know, super serious. But like I don't know, like, like there's like some people who are like a, like a, what is it called, like a J.R.R. Tolkien historian or something, right? And again, like maybe you know, maybe there could be an exception for like that hypothetically an example, right? Or somebody who studies, you know. Somebody who studies like you know spiritual darkness or something, or you're like a again like that's that's your profession. That's like you know again maybe it's okay, right? There can be times where you know circumstances can be different, right? Again, there, there are like you know there are like literally like you know hell-based preachers, people who preach about hell. And again, like if that's what you do, then like maybe it's okay, right? You you inter you you study you know a bunch of dark stuff. Because in holiness you serve in God by standing against the darkness. And then that could be an exception, right? 
And, you know, again, like, or maybe you're like a musician or you spend a lot of time interacting with like, you know, like heavy metal music or rock music, or you're like, you're like a, you're like a guitar player or something. And you watch or you listen to this or use this in some reason. Again, maybe that could be like a hypothetically like an exception, right? Or, or you're, you're a content creator online, like, you know, I guess like myself, right? Like you, you, you study these things, you use these things and you have some kind of a reason for it. And maybe that's like your profession or you spend a lot of time with this stuff or you study RPG games or you study mechanics or you study all these different stuff. And you have, you, you have a justified reason to be spending more time with it. Again, I'd say that's like an exception. That's, you know, again, like, you know, some of these things can be subjective. But if you're just a normal, regular person who just, you, you, again, I, I think you just gotta, you just gotta have, you know, some self-control. You gotta have, get a little, get a little grip of yourself, right? Because this stuff is not going to be healthy to consume on large bursts, frequently all the time. It's kind of like, you know, like eating a dessert. It's like you want to eat an ice cream, then go out and eat an ice cream, right? You want to drink a soda, drink a soda. But this stuff is, you want to eat chips or like pizza or whatever, and. I love doing this stuff. I'm sure almost everybody loves all this stuff. It's terrible for you, but it tastes good, right? The same thing with like, you know, darker fantasy and a lot of this stuff. You know, it tastes good. It feels good and it offers you a lot of, a lot of, a lot of advantages, but it also makes you fat. And it can, it's probably going to slowly kill you over a long period of time. It's not really good for you. It tastes good, but it's not good for you, right? Same thing with a lot of this stuff. If you do it every once in a while, it's probably not that big of a deal. If you're doing it frequently, it's arguably going to be pretty bad for you, right? Okay, so I'd say those are some of my... I guess, you know, I, I just focus on those three specific issues. But again, I, this is just some of my thoughts on, you know, I guess on Doom or on stuff similar to Doom. And maybe this will give you, I don't know, whoever might be listening and watching this. It'll give you some, uh, you know, some insight or some... Uh, you know, some different uh, neutral thoughts on it. So yeah, yeah. So those, those are some of my thoughts. And you know, I don't I, again, like you know, again, I'll, 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 as I'll say, I've been kind of building this. I've kind of been building back up the the commentary side on the channel a little more again. I've been kind of taking a break for a couple weeks on it, but I'm slowly gonna start maybe making some more now again. Uh, you know, go ahead and you know, feel free to leave some you know, comments down in the comment section. All, all I would say is, you know, tr tr try not to be like a dick, right? Tr try to be like a friendly person, or at least be somewhat neutral and fair. Like, if you want to give your thoughts on it, give your thoughts on it, right? You know, just try to be friendly. Or try to be like more open-minded or more neutral. So yeah, yeah let, let me know what you think about Doom as a Christian, and you know, do you play the game, and how do you justify yourself, and how do you rationalize it? How do you rationalize it? And what do you hope to get from it, right? Or whatever your thoughts are. Yeah, feel free to, you know, leave a comment or whatever you're at, wherever you find this at. And, and yeah, like, let's also, let's, let's glorify God. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. God is good.